All right, Mr. Murphy here, and we're going to look at uh, the second part of the transformations, and that's to reflect shapes. Um, so, the sort of GCSE questions that you'll see on the uh, on the screen, uh, a basic GCSE question on reflection would be to reflect this shape in the mirror line given. Okay, your point, your your best way of dealing with this, or your best point of thinking about when you first start, is just count squares for each vertex of the shape away from the mirror line. So we talk about this first corner just here. Okay, we're one square away to the mirror line. So if I go one square the other side of the mirror line, that's where that corner, that vertex is gonna go. Okay, so let's have a look at the next vertex. So in a vertical line down to the mirror line, we've got one, two, three steps. Go three more steps, one, two, three. So that point is gonna be just there, okay. Okay, take the next vertex. Okay, so at this point here, we're one square away. So we've got one square vertically down. Okay, and the final one, this point here, again is one, two, three to the mirror line. So we're gonna go one, two, three, and that would be where that's gonna fall. Okay, what we would then do is we would just join these vertexes up, vertices up, and we would get the, uh, the shape drawn, okay? Well now obviously, uh, you'd be better off making sure that you're doing that with a straight line. Obviously, it's a little bit more difficult on the screen. Um, so if I was to do, oops, if I was to do straight lines in between, okay, we we'll go from there to there. Okay, so there's my straight line if I'm going to do that. Okay. Um, so again, you're just going to draw them the lines in between there and if it gives you a, a letter if that was shape a then obviously the, the Shape that we're going to draw If that's shape a we would say a dash Okay Let's have a look at the second one uh, The other type of question you may get is one that you have two shapes and it's asking you there to actually draw in the mirror line on the grid. It's a similar process in the sense of, remember the mirror line is gonna come halfway between the two shapes. So if I pick a vertex just there, and I pick a vertex, the re reflected vertex on the other side where B is, okay? And we count the shapes, the squares in between. One, two, three, four, five, six so we've got six squares so i'm going to go one two three so my line would start there okay and then i would just draw that line between those points oops straight down Okay, so we would just draw that line straight down at that point. And that's my mirror line. Okay. And we can see, if we wanted to just check, we can see that we've got one, two, three. One, two, three. Three squares each side. Okay. Let's have a look at this next question. So, <clears throat> it's more like an exam style question, this one. Reflect shape A in the line Y equals three, and then label the new shape B. So we're gonna draw shape B as a reflected shape. So the first thing we need to do is we need to just look at the question. We, we know it gives us Y equals three. So we're gonna look at Y, it equals three at that point. So we need to draw our line going across horizontally from that point. Okay, let's 
let's get the right one. So we're starting at y equals three. And now let's just make that a little bit thicker. Okay, so there's my mirror line. So we've drawn that mirror line in. We know at that point that that line, okay, that line is y equals 3. Okay. So now we're going to revert back to what we've just done when we had the shape given to us. We take a vertex and we can say that point there is one square away from the line. So we're going to go one more square further down. That's that vertex. We've got the top square is one, two, three, four squares away. I'm going to count down from there. One, two, three, four, and I'm going to put my vertex there. Okay, next square. Next vertex is the top bit. And that is again one, two, three, four squares away. One, two, three, four. And then let's get rid of these so we can see it a little bit clearer. And we've got this point here, which is two squares away. So we go two squares. And if I'm looking to then join up the dots. Uh, to there, to there, and we're just doing dot to dot. Okay, and remember we need to label that as shape B. Okay. Okay, if you want to have a go at this one. Okay, so the information we've got in the question is reflex uh, reflect triangle A in the x-axis. It doesn't tell me to label it anything, so I would label it as a dash when I get it finished. So if you wanna pause the video and give this one a go, try and reflect that in the x-axis. Okay, let's see how you got on. So firstly, we're gonna look at, we know that's the x-axis. We're gonna take each point and one square away, one square below it, so I'm gonna go one square above that's that vertex. The one at the bottom of the triangle, one, two, three, four squares below. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four squares above. And then that shape there is four squares below. And I'm going to go one, two, three, four squares above. Okay. And then I'm just going to draw that shape in. There. Now this one, I would try to always make sure I do each vertex on these particular questions, purely because it's easy to, especially for a diagonal reflection that we'll do in a minute, it's easy to actually lose the, what the shape should look like. Remember we're doing a reverse reflection, we're doing the opposite of what's actually there. So if we have got a shape that looks like a rectangle like that, and I'm doing that rectangle in a uh, in a horizontal reflection, I'm going to look at exactly the same as what I started to. Okay, If I've got the same shape in a vertical reflection, I'm going to look exactly the same, but the opposite side of the line. Okay, let's have a look at the next one and see um, see what you think. So this time, the key thing is we're going to do it, reflect it in the line y equals x. Now my line y equals x means when x equals 1, y equals 1. So where those two meet, there's my point. When x equals 5, y equals 5. So I'm going to look to put those two lines where they meet, and there's my meeting point. So every single time y equals a certain value, x has got to equal the same value. So 
Oops. Uh, once I've uh, once I've realised that, I can put my line at uh, zero, and then I'm going to put this one up diagonally. So we're going through the same points. Okay. So. Okay, so I should make this line a little bit thicker so we can see it. So there's my uh, there's my reflection. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm literally going to do this exactly same thing as what we've done before. I'm just going to pick a vertex individually. I'm going to pick this one here where A is. The only difference this time is I'm going to my reflective line. So I'm half a square away, but I'm going diagonally this time. So I need to keep going the same direction for half a square. So that's where my vertex is gonna go. If I think the vertex at B, okay. Again, I'm gonna go diagonally across to my line. I've got one and a half squares half and a full one means that's where that particular vertex is going to go now i'm just going to get rid of uh, these points at the minute because they're the two vertexes that i've put on okay if i look at d that point there i've got coming across here i've got one full square let's get one full square there's my vertex Okay, and if we look at the final one being C, we've got one, two full squares diagonally across. One, two full squares across. So my top point is gonna go just there. Okay, so let's just get those lines off. And if we join those points up, you can see we've got one square, two squares one square two squares okay so that's my reflected shape so you can see if I've got a diagonal the big difference is my reflected shape is gonna look different okay it's not just gonna be the same shape reflected in that mirror line it's actually for this one it's gonna turn now if you imagine um, okay I'm gonna try and um, highlight this so we've got all of that okay um, just going to copy that that image so that nothing moves on it <coughs> okay and what we're going to do is we're going to paste that image there now, I just want you to pay attention to the mirror line because if we try to turn that mirror line so that it is vertical, hopefully you see what happens in the sense of my shape now is a mirror image of it. Okay, It looks a lot more realistic as a mirror image than what it, we've just done in this question. Okay, so if you do get a question like this, turn your page on its side or turn it so it's horizontal. Okay, it doesn't matter which way you turn it. Instead of doing my mirror line such like that, let's make it horizontal. Okay, and again there you can see it's a lot more realistic. Instead of us thinking we're going diagonal up to the mirror line, we're half a square away, half a square away, one and a half squares away, one and a half squares away becomes easier to plot okay uh, just like with the translations okay the next question we've got it would say could say that we need to describe fully the single transformation that maps triangle a onto triangle b so we're going to go from this is my object this is my image and i'm going to direct a to b so 
what type of transformation is it? Is it exactly the same way round? No, it's not, so it can't be a translation. Is it the same size, same actual size? It's the same size, but it's the opposite way around. So if it's not, if it's not a, uh, a change in size, it's not gonna be an enlargement. So that gives us a ch choice of two. It's either a rotation or it is a reflection, okay? Now, a lot of the time, some of the rotations can be the same as reflections. We're doing reflections in this part, so we know it's gonna be a reflection, okay? So that's the first thing. We know it's a reflection. That's one mark, okay? What we also need to know is, where is the mirror line? Okay, because it's reflected somewhere, okay? And again, that's gonna be your second mark. So where would I put the mirror line in here? Think what we did on question two. There's my two uh, opposite vertices, and there's two squares in between. So that means that point is my mirror line. Let's go for this vertex. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six points. One, two, three, that's my mirror line. And once I've got those two things isolated, okay, I can put my, I can put my mirror line in. Okay, and I'm gonna put that. Okay, and we can see that that's gonna be. That's gonna be along. I'm just gonna make that a little bit thicker. And again, so we can see it. There's my mirror line. So I've written my mirror line in, that would get you the marks, but just really to make sure that we know exactly where that is, we could say that is either the x-axis or y equals zero. Okay, x-axis or at that point, my value of y equals zero. So any horizontal line, y is just gonna equal a constant number. Okay, any vertical line, x is gonna equal a constant number. And any diagonal, you're gonna have both y and x in the line equation okay so you you would need two things you'd need to say it's a reflection and where the mirror line is whether you draw that on or whether you write it in both would get you the answers okay hope that's been of, of use for you uh if it is give us a like and we'll see you on the next one I like you to